What's going on guys? It's Daryl from Off Earth back again with yet another little small paint tutorial. This one's a quick one. Uh, I just wanted to show you guys how to create some faux wood finishes on your 3D printed parts. Sorry, the ring light's blowing it out. Let's go. First, you're gonna need your piece. Uh, these are primered with a Duplicolor Filler Primer, nothing special. And our base color is gonna be this Rust-Oleum Warm Caramel Satin. So we're gonna spray this over the part. No need to go crazy. We're just gonna do a couple of dust coats. The lighter, the better. And uh, I'm just gonna rotate the Lazy Susan here and make sure that I get all the little undercuts and crevices that are gonna be covered so we don't have any voids in our paint job that we're gonna apply over top of this. And now that that's done, we're gonna set these guys aside and let them dry. For this next part, we're gonna grab our Copic inks, and this is where the magic happens. We have three colors, light walnut E57, walnut E59, and light mahogany, which is E07. You're also gonna to wanna to grab yourself one of these crappy dollar store paint brushes and gloves for good measure. I know it's gonna be kind of hard to see from the angle. Uh, I'm gonna to try to move my hands as much as possible so you can see, but all you're gonna do is take your alcohol ink and just draw a line down your piece and start stroking it down the prop, starting at the top, making your way to the bottom. You wanna keep those brush strokes even, firm and direct, and you can mix these colors up any way, shape or form that you want. There's no rhyme or reason to this. So all I'm doing once again is just going color by color, dropping them down or drawing a line down, taking my brush and stroking them. You need to be kind of quick with this because this alcohol ink does dry relatively fast and you don't wanna leave any like surface blotches on your part. Now with that being said, even if you do mess up, you leave the ink sitting there too long and uh, you know you get like a little dot or a blot, you can just go ahead and draw another line with another color, take your brush and just start making brush strokes and that should disappear uh, any imperfections or issues that may occur or runs, anything that you see that doesn't give you that faux wood or wood grain texture. So I'm just gonna continue doing this until I get to a place where I think it is acceptable. And I'll show you what that final product looks like. And there you have it. Just the blend of these three colors, some brush strokes, and you have yourself a faux wood grip. So we're gonna do the same thing to the other one. And at the end, I'll give you guys some footage of the completed pieces. second grip all finished I'm really loving this effect like I said this is a quick easy and relatively inexpensive way of creating a faux wood grip or look for any 3d print uh, possibly even foam you could probably do this on as well and as always links will be in the description below for all the products used in this video
Man, I hope you guys enjoyed that tutorial. Uh, this is a very simple, affordable technique. Um, you don't need an airbrush. You don't need any fancy paint equipment. All you need is some, uh, I guess you'd say wood colored alcohol inks, crappy paintbrush, some gloves. I strongly suggest the gloves so you don't get this stuff everywhere. Um, and something like a mat you know, that you can put down to uh, do this process over. So if you enjoyed this video, like, subscribe, comment, share, you know, the drill. Also, everything that I used, again, will be in the uh, description below. So if you wanna pick up these, there's other alcohol inks, alcohol ink mediums out there. Um, I don't know how much cheaper they are than these. These are about five bucks a piece. And in this I used, I don't know, a milliliter out of each of these to do both of these grips. So they do go a long way, um, which I think is important when you're buying art supplies because that stuff can build up over time. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like and subscribe. Stay tuned for the next one. Peace.